little plastic chrome trim that covers the wiring for the electric mirrors on the 107SL and I don't think I've ever seen one which hasn't had the tabs broken off either one of them, two of them or more commonly all of them. So these little hooks here break off basically because people don't really know how to get it off so they twist it and wiggle it and basically snap these off. So usually um, what I would do to repair one of these is just to make up these tabs here and glue them in. It doesn't really matter what you make them from but one and potential method is to get a um, lid of a pen sometimes the bottom part of the lid actually has kind of tab and hook in it and you could just cut this to length super glue it in there sometimes um, you could just cut the top off there and shape it to whatever size you want and then cut it to length however I'm going to try something different on this car I'm going to try securing this in with a series of neodymium magnets which hopefully will arrive in the post tomorrow. So I'm going to glue the magnets in here and they'll be exactly the right height and then we'll just cut these tabs off and this will just fit on magnetically to the car like so. Evidently the part number for this is 107 there's another number under that, KKT09008812, but this is no longer available from Mercedes or the SL shop or anywhere else I've ever come across. So the only ones you'll see are second-hand ones that will need some form of repair. Arrived in the post the day after ordering them. There's hopefully two different sizes of neodymium magnets. The plan is to superglue these 8mm diameter, 3mm thick magnets, there's three of them in a pile there, into each corner. And this should then magnetically stick to the car rather than relying on these broken tabs. So plenty of space to glue these and these on, but where that magnet there is, is where the wires basically come in. So I wasn't sure whether that's going to fit. So I think we're going to start by gluing those and those in there. And then just see if it actually fits before we glue those ones in. Um, start putting super glue in there. We're just going to get a cotton wool bud and just clean out all of these, make sure there's no dust or grime in there. So quite a few of these to get all of that grime out, but that's, that's clean and that's as that's going to get in here. Tiny little drop of super glue on there. Don't need too much. Glued two of those sets of neodymium magnets on. We haven't caught, glued this corner set on here because that goes here and I don't want the magnets to be in the way of that lead because there's not much room for manoeuvre there. So let's just see how this works with just those two glued on. Working, you can see the magnets are working here and here, not quite as powerfully as I'd hoped, but here on this side where we haven't got a magnet and there's no catch on there, it's still loose. So we're going to try gluing the last set of magnets in there and seeing if that will hold that on nice and firm. Before gluing the magnets into there, I just wanted to check that this does actually work. So I've just stuck the magnets onto this piece of metal and uh, that is going to work and that is going to sit flush there so that is going to potentially work if we glue those magnets right in that corner we've glued the last set of magnets on there we'll just wait for that to dry and then fit that on the car um those magnets don't quite come to the top of that they're about one mil short which makes sense when i measured it, it was 10 mil and those magnets are three millimeters thick I think what I may do is just order three more magnets that are four mil thick. So the same diameter, eight mil diameter, but four mil thick, just because that one mil gap would just reduce the strength of the magnets to the metal sort of exponentially, whereas really we want the magnets touching the metal. So at the moment I've got three three mil magnets there. I'm gonna take the top one off and replace it with two two mil magnets and that will just bring that stack up to exactly 10 mil. We'll do the same with the other stacks. Really stick on there like it's glued on basically. Yeah, that's not going anywhere now. I think we can safely say that's job done. Using neodymium magnets to stick on that chrome worked really well. Um, 8mm was a perfect diameter. We started off ordering 10 3mm thick magnets and then went on to order 10 2mm thick magnets. And we made three stacks of 10mm using two of the 3mm and two of the 2mm. And that lot came to just over £6 delivered.